What's going on guys, Ben here, welcome back to another video, just telling me with Dad, and today we're doing another q and I know two in a row, uh, it's, it's what you all want, you all enjoyed the last one, so let's do it again, let's try and make it a little bit shorter this time, you know, like, and no like, dodgy questions, not half an hour, yeah, no dodgy questions, come on, it's, it's disgraceful, <laughs> so it's from Darren, do you think Susel will be there next season, and what position would you like to see Villa target for recruitment in the next window? Uh, I don't, I don't, cause I don't, I don't think, no, we, we gave in the time, it looked alright in the championship bringing in the players it is, but then we've looked, we've looked at the Premier League and how, what he's, how he's done, I think, I think the owners just can't, weren't trusting him and relied the trust in Smith now because we, uh, we know, we know that, that man cares so much about the club, cares so much about the players, he, he know he knows how to make business, he just, he, he wouldn't make silly decisions in terms of the club, especially the team that he supports. He'll try and make good, sensible transfers. So of spending, you know, ten million of, you know, players from, you know, Eastern Europe who have never even played any football outside their home country. So, so you think Suso's days are numbered, then, Ben? Yeah, I do. So, uh, what positions would you like to see Villa target then? Hmm. Wingers, because you know we got we got Trezeguet and uh, and Eldarty, pretty they're good wingers, but I mean on the books at the club right now we've got three wingers, you know not including Grealish. I don't really count him as a winger, even though it's sad to say he's more involved out on the wings. But yeah, we 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 should really be playing him again and Horan like uh, three cams, but that that would work. So yeah, so we need to, we need some wingers if we don't want to have Grealish on the left. You know, we've got three wingers at the club right now. If if one of them gets injured, not in a good not in good shape this season. So we we definitely need some wingers, and um, I'd probably say get more in the midfield as well because we don't seem to have many players there. What about you? Okay. I'm not going to answer that question, Ben, because I don't know enough about football. <laughs> so, uh, who's the best or your favourite player that you've seen playing live? And your most improved player this season? Uh, and what signing has disappointed the most? Best favourite player I've, seen, I've, I've ever seen live? Petrov, probably. Petrov? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seen it, seen it. Cool. Yeah. Just great, great player, wasn't he? He was, yeah. He was yeah. indeed, Ben. It's sad what happened to him. How about you? Um, I've seen some really good players over the years, Ben. Yeah. Really good players, and I think Cristiano Ronaldo. Just, yeah. I just thought he was awesome. He just had me in awe, Ben. Some of yeah. the stuff he, do, he used to do. And yeah. I, I thought, you know, yeah. when he first, when he was only young, when he come to Man U, yeah. um, one just, trick pony. But I just loved watching yeah. him, Ben. I just thought he was exciting. Yeah. I just thought it was exciting. And he's yeah. turned out to be one of the best players yeah. in the world, as it happens, isn't he? One so, of the best players of all time. Yeah. So. Yeah. On. Uh, what's your most uh, what signing has been the most disappointing for you this year? No, we're not going for most improved. Okay, the most improved, sorry. Greedish. Greedish, yeah. okay. Because like, last season everyone saying, oh, he doesn't get involved enough. And he got six goals, six assists in the championship. And stuff like, oh yeah, he doesn't get involved, involved enough. So then by January, he got seven goals and six assists, ma making it his best ever season already in the league. And he had, he had an... Uh, I hadn't even played half a season yet. <laughs> so he's improved massively. He, sh he shows like no matter what level he's at, he will kill the game entirely. You know, car carrying the team on the back. Okay. So, what signing has just disappointed the most? Most disappointing signing. A lot of people. A lot of people say Wes, weren't they? But they will. Wes really has not disappointed me this season. I, I I have thought he's been very good when he's had his chances. He's, he's missed, so he's missed a couple of so has, Who has been? To put you on the spot, who's been the most who disappointing? Who has been? It's got to be either Nakamba or uh, Louise for me. Does it, both of them come Drink in. Drink water. Drink water, I wasn't really expecting much of though. That's oh, he's disappointing, isn't he? <laughs> he's disappointing. Yeah, but I wasn't Profits. expecting much of he didn't expect me. Right, so, I didn't, so, so I didn't next get question. Next question. PJ1964, mm. hello mate. 
Right. <laughs> if you were in an exec box to watch yeah. Villa's next game, what eight people from history or present would you invite? No relatives or current players allowed. Hmm. Does it, does it mean current Villa players? No, what people? Just people. No, I mean like not excluding current Villa players yeah, or excluding no, current no. footballers. Can't have, can't have current Villa players. Alright. So... Because um, they'll be playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, Should we have four each? Four each, okay. Yeah. okay. I'd, like to, I'd like to be in there with... Um, Georgie Best. Georgie Best. Georgie Best. <laughs> Like just so you can have a drink. Yeah. I'll get Georgie Best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, he's probably... It's Georgie one Best, of the, isn't it? One of the things that made me get yeah. like love football, Georgie Best was, mm. Ben. So, you yeah. next. You ne you can name one now. Sir Alex. Sir Alex Ferguson? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he'd be very interested to talk to her about the game. Okay. So, next back to me then. Yeah. So, my next guest would be... Um, I'd like to have Prince William in there, Ben, yeah. with us. Oh, I'd as well. I'd like to have Prince yeah. William in there with us. Yeah. yeah, you? I'm going for Dean Saunders. Dean Saunders, <laughs> OK. Any reasoning behind that? It's funny. OK. <laughs> so back to me again, then. Um, I'll go with Norman Wisdom. Norman Wisdom, is that? <laughs> <laughs> is, it? is it? Ben, Norman yeah. Wisdom, he was a very, very funny man. Mm. Funny man, Ben. Right. Look him up on Google. Right. Look him up. When I was a kid, Ben, I used to <laughs> love watching Norman Wisdom films. Mm. Brilliant. Over to you then. Uh, I'd go for Kevin Bridges because he looks like John McGinn. Kevin Bridges. <laughs> okay. Uh, MNC Snow, is that three each? Yeah, three each. Okay, oh. number four for me. You know what? I used to work with him. Mm. Keith Leonard. Keith Leonard. He's an old Villa player, Ben, and I used to work with him. Mm. Right, and I haven't seen him for. About 20 years, yeah. and I don't even know he's still alive, Ben. But mm. I'd like to have a chat with Keith because he's a good old egg. He was. Mm. He was a good old egg. I'd have him. I've had <laughs> old Keith in with me. Yeah. Okay, right. you're next, then. Yeah, Declan Pierce. If you can't leave him. Declan Pierce. Good we, lad. We, we need to meet him again. <laughs> <laughs> we've met. Good lad. We've met him like once or twice. Great. He's absolutely like glass person. Mm. Jeff Markey, he says, if you could watch one season in Villa's history, which would it be? What is your worst season uh, watching the Villa? And what superstition would you have if you became a professional footballer? I'd never become a professional footballer. But if you were? I'd never become one. I'm not good enough. But, like, what superstition would you have pretty much to help win the game? <sighs> I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Um... um Superstition yeah. would probably be the boot thing, putting the one boot on before the other, mm. which I'm, I'm very, very horrendously, yeah. heavily right footed. <laughs> so we'd have to be that one first. Yeah. It'd have to be that one first. Mm. And what was the next bit? Uh, if you could watch one season in Villa's history, what would it have be been? I'd like to. I'd, I'd, like, I'd, I'd probably too young to appreciate it really, but the season. The season we won the league, mm. and, and then like the, uh, and then the European Cup. Mm. But the season we won the league, yeah. I watched that, but I don't think I appreciated it enough at the time mm. how, how massive it was. So I'd like to revisit that season again. Well, it will be the last time for a while, though. Yes, yeah. I'd like to revisit that season yeah. again, but I'd like to be that person again, mm. but with with my head now. Well, the, that season and the one after, definitely. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Mm. But you. For what? Same season for you? What? 81 and 82. Yeah. Which would have been, would, them two seasons would have just been incredible watching Simon away. Uh, What's yeah. the next part of the question, Ben? Because you, you've gone out of sync with me. What is your worst se season watching the villa? The season we went down. <laughs> that was shocking. Yeah. It was terrible. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't remember my games. I took you down to that season, Ben. One. Was it only one? Was it? Because the season before we were going to about five no, it was six, two. It was two. It? we were going to about five or six games yeah. a season, weren't we? Before that, and then, and then we uh, won Bournemouth away. We we're very happy, and then we just... was the season we went down when Liverpool mashed us. Yeah. Was yeah. that the only game you went down to that season? No, Newcastle. At home oh, that's two then, wasn't it? Yeah, and then and uh, the last game of the season wasn't it Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, the last home game. Yeah, that's right. And then um, 
this new station I'd have if I became a footballer. I'd uh, put tape on my hands, just. What, do you mean? Do you, no, you Vardy. Mean... No, he's got like tape wrapped around yeah. his hand. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think that I think that just makes it into your your hands more streamlined. There, like it's more together, so it's just easier. Okay. So, uh, so uh, Jimmy Jimmy said, "Hi Ben, it's Jimmy here. I have two questions." Firstly, you can have the left foot of one Villa player and the yeah. right foot of another, past or present. Whose feet will you choose? So, That's directly to you, that is, then, Ben. Yeah, no, but me and you can answer it, because it's directly... I don't want to answer that one. I'm leaving that one with you, Ben. What's your answer in the second one, then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, left foot of one Villa player, I've got to go for uh, Hurahan's left foot. Yeah. What, hits or spurgers? Was it if he was left foot? Yeah. Yeah, hits hits the spurge, rocket, and then the the right foot of a Villa player, Benteke. Just a Benteke. Lethal, lethal with that right foot. Okay. Yeah. What's the next part of the question? And then, uh, who's your dream fantasy date you'd like to take to a match? Rachel from S Club Seven. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes, Rachel. Yeah. Yep. And then he's he's also said close the book on the mug. <laughs> <laughs> From Nicola Partridge. So, who was the manager you always wanted to see at Villa, but we never got? Rogers. Brendan Rogers. Brendan Rogers. I stand by. I stand by it to this day. When we sat Bruce, I was adamant we should have got Brendan Rogers. Does it, like, as much as everyone hates him, he's a brilliant coach. He knows what he's doing. But would he have come to Villa there, Ben? Yeah, he would have. You think so? Mm. He, he, you know, he left winning the treble, treble with Celtic to mid-table Leicester. So if you put, if we paid him enough money, he would have, he would have joined us. Mm. And you know, we wouldn't have had the ten-game winning run. We just went straight, straight to a win. In the league. Okay. Yeah. Next okay. up, uh, this one's from Andy Villa. He says, if your dad had the choice of a pint of Guinness or going to the parents' evening. Would you wash the glass himself after, or leave it to him? I'd definitely wash the glass after. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> no question. Just <laughs> right. the one from Walshie as well. Yeah. Right. In fact, Walshie got another one as well. That I don't know. Right. So uh, this one came in late f for the last one from at Walshie one. If you and Ben had a film made of your lives, which actors would you want to play you? Who would you have been? I'll let you go first. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of lot of good actors. But, um, uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks? Yeah. Okay. Good actor. Okay. And a bit of fun, so I'd see the role perfectly. How about you? Um, is it Tom Hardy? I don't know. I'm going to go with Tom Hardy because mm. I think I'm uh, quite similar looking to him. <laughs> and uh, I think <laughs> I think it'd be a, good, a, a pretty good match. Mm. Pretty good match for me. Right. Walsh Cat. Name five famous people, alive or dead, that you'd invite for dinner. Mm. Give the reasons why only one can be a Villa player. So it's quite similar to the yeah. other question. Yeah. This is. <coughs> so, who would you have? Uh, the Queen. Queen? Yeah. Queen, yep. Queen would be very interesting yep. to talk to. Uh, uh, Sergio Aguero. Okay. Yeah, seemed to be a very interesting character. Yeah. But stuck, I'll let you. And I'd like to have. Um, Vinnie Jones, I think he'd be quite interesting. Vinnie Jones. He's got a bit of a life yeah, story I, behind I, him. I know, now. I know, yeah. He's got a bit of a life uh, story. Peaky Blinders. And we've got <laughs> we've got one more, haven't we? Yeah. That's four people. It's three. Um, three. Is it three? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go with Perry Como. Perry Como. Perry Como. Your dad's mm. your dad's favourite singer, Perry Como was. Mm. The seventh son yeah. of the seventh son he was been. Mm. Supposed to be very lucky. And uh, I'd like to have a good old chat with him. I'd, I'd love to have a chat with Fred Gilbert. Fred Gilbert? Yeah. Okay, icon. we'll go with that. <laughs> Absolute icon he is. Does he speak fluent English, Ben? Yeah, he does. Okay, that's good then. That's good. Yeah. Right, so, this is from John Sandy. Mm. So, hi Ben. This question, this question's to you. Yeah. I've just opened a private zoo and don't really care about animal welfare. Mm. I've put a crocodile, a rhino and a honey badger in a cage <laughs> together. None of them seemed happy mm. with this and it looks like they're about to fight. Mm. Which will be the last creature standing? 
Yeah. This is a hypothetical one for you, Ben. A rhino. Why? It's got horns, doesn't it? Yeah. So, if it, so like, and it's big as well. Yeah. So, like, the alligator or the honey badger try to scrawn it, it can just pierce it with its horn. Okay. And probably stamp on it. Exactly. Anyway, right. wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> right then. Uh, Matar, mm. have you any pre match rituals? No. <laughs> well, you have? Well, no, the routine we do is. I can, not, tell, you, I can really tell you what ritual, your ritual is, Ben. It was your routine. I get your clothes ready for exactly. you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just, I'm already still, yeah, it's, it's not really a ritual, though. it's just something something we do. It's, it's not something that we purposely do like that. It's just, it it's just, just it's something you make me do. <laughs> right, are you next, you're the next one. Alright, this one's from uh, Sheffield United Bible. Make sure to check him out on Instagram, link down below. He says. Who would you say has been your best and worst signing to Villa and also who's your favourite manager who's managed Villa? So, who would you say? So ask the question again, sorry. Who would you say has been the best and worst signings for Villa and who's been your favourite manager? Best ever? and worst signing ever? Yeah. Oh, that's a few, isn't there? Mm. Um, worst sign never was, um, what was his name? Gonzo. Um... What's his name now? <laughs> With a massive nose. Um, Sasa Sercic. Sasa. Who? It was Sasa Sercic, wasn't it? Him. What honour. <laughs> Him. Him, Ben. He was awful. <laughs> awful. Big show off. Yeah. Big show off, but awful. Mm. Go on, you're going with it. Um, Hellenius. Hellenius. Yeah. Okay, he was, he was, yeah. Yeah. He, he's the one who, uh, had his shorts fall down by the Sunday in the FA Cup match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, best signings. Best signings. Yeah. Um, Paul McGrath's got to be the best signing we've ever made, doesn't he? Mm. Got to be the best signing we've ever made. That man, Paul Merson. Oh. Paul oh. Merson. Yeah. Paul Merson. I think uh, the most important signing we've made, though, Peter With. Yes. Without him, we wouldn't have won the European Cup. Indeed, mate. Indeed, in indeed. Mm. Yes, I remember that well. I remember that yeah. well. Next one for you. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure one now. Okay. I'll just ask. So this is from Kevin Stringer. Yeah. Hi Ben. Is it acceptable to clean the upstairs toilet with your wife's toothbrush for revenge if she has curbed your alloys on your brand new car after you repeatedly told her to take extra care while par parking it? Obviously, I'm asking for a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, that's it. You've got, uh, got the green light it's there, Gabe. It's definitely acceptable because <laughs> at the end of the day, you can just wash your toothbrush. It's not, it's not that big a video. <laughs> right, this one's from Harry Batters. He says Villa Staino. Yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. So, definitely. I'm certain. Okay, the me bit. next. Yeah. Uh, Martin Dutton. Uh, which would you choose? One, score the winning goal for Villa in the Champions League final. Or, two, score the winner for England stroke Ireland in the World Cup final. Mm. I added in Ireland just in case your dad preferred that. And me. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I prefer yeah. it as well. So which one would you prefer to score, Ben? I'd love to score both of them. I'd absolutely love it. Just, like, for, if, if I was to play for Ireland and score a last-minute winner to win the World Cup, that that'd be so big. It'd be, you know, smallest country. Well, it, well, it, it, I think it might be the smallest country, the second smallest, depending on how small Uruguay is. But yeah, you know, very, very like low populated country to win the first, win their first World Cup would be monumental for the sport in Ireland. It would yeah, it but be. but also Villa winning the European Cup would be monumental for football in uh in the Midlands. So yeah, yeah. it's a tough decision, but. I, nothing would bring I think, more I think, joy than I think, winning, the, I think one winning of them, the European Cup with Villa. One of them is uh, is something that's, that's special and more personal, and the other one is just you'd never be forgotten by the whole country, isn't it? Oh, There's yeah. two different things there. So yeah. I, I think I'd probably go with the the personal one, yeah. with the uh, the with Champions Villa. League yeah. thing. I would. Yeah, I I I'd, I don't think I'd be able to play in that play that game though. I'd, I'd just be too nervous. Wouldn't be able to end. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get a beer, Ben. Let me get a beer, Ben. Come on, Nick. Hey. <laughs> Should I, uh, do just ask me to do it? Just putting that.
Bottle at the back there. This one's from Jude's Journey. He says, How far do you see Villa fan media progressing? He's got three questions here, so we'll just go with that first. Okay. Um, now, I, I, see, I see the people in it progressing far, do, like, doing a lot with their career, but I don't see Villa, me, like, Villa fan media as, a, like, as you know, what we're doing now. I don't see, think that will actually go that far. Because, you know, we, we don't have, you know, a billion fans, as you know, I'd like to say. You know, we're not going to really be able to make good careers for what we're doing now. I think I, I think it's, you'll all you'll all tick over and gain experience from what you're doing. We we'll, we'll gain experience, but the media side of it, as its own, won't won't go far. The the, the Villa View disappearing yeah. is a big big loss. Yeah. Big because they, you know they you guys learnt a lot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, you know, you all learnt a lot from them. Yeah. But, and their style and. And the, the stuff they were putting out. But so it will be a big loss, but you've all got to create your own little niche in the yeah. market now, haven't you? What it does is absolutely monumental to them. The, the Villa View, like now, them going away, it's letting them get good jobs without having to worry about their YouTube channel disappearing, about having to get new faces on there, to be able to put up with people even, uh, to make people unhappy. Because, you know, the people they got to know and love over three years just disappeared. So the channel going away now is very good for them. Okay, and uh, another one from Jude is, what's been your favourite part of being of creating B6 Spend so far? Well, the question's that question's to you. <laughs> the playoffs. Playoffs. The playoffs is incredible. Or Wembley this year. I know we lost, but that day was just it was amazing. Day. It was an amazing day. We've got nothing to yeah. lose at all. I, absolutely nothing to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I walked yeah. away from there a happy man. I didn't. I yeah. weren't really bothered that we lost because yeah, exactly. I never expected to win anyway. When we got, when we got back to Wilson, so I seen Jill, Julian was just glass, and then uh, he also said most pointless piece, uh, no, most pointless Villa signing, which we've already answered. I think we've already covered that, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right, go on then. Okay, so uh, from Algae. Mm. Did your dad really have a perm? Yes. <laughs> no, I never. No, oh, okay. Thank you very much. You did? I didn't have a perm. I've never had a perm I in my life. I swear I've seen a photo of you. No, oh, I had highlights. 20. I had highlights, Ben. Never had a perm. I had highlights. Yeah, it was a lot. That's yeah, when I was young yeah, and trendy. Yeah, it was a lot, lot bigger than it used to be, though. Oh, yeah, I used to have a, a bit of hair, a bit of a mane. I used to have a bit of a mane, Ben. Uh, this one's from uh, Mark Jerobi. He says, Least favourite meal your dad has ever cooked? I think that's tonight's, wasn't it, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I enjoyed the meal. She, she filled an entire bowl full of pasta. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be able to eat that. <laughs> uh, it's, it said, where do you see yourself in three years as far as blo- vlog content? Um, so I see myself like progressing, like maybe 10,000, 15,000 subs, but... Not that much, but I, I, I see myself getting a break somewhere, like, it's like all two, about, two years' time. It's all about getting yeah. a break, Ben. Yeah. The whole business Get, is getting a break is like an apprentice, at, like, you know, it's somewhere good for me. And, yeah, I hope so. I will be able to try for, like, carrying on vlogging. And then he said... I'd like to think you would. <laughs> and he said, for both of us, would you rather Xbox controllers for hands or PS4 controllers for feet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play gaming, Ben. No, he's on about the controllers and so it, it, do, it doesn't matter which one. But would you rather, like, controllers for hands or for feet? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I, I'd, I'd go for feet because... Okay. <laughs> like, you, you, you probably should as well. Why? Are we, I don't play you meant to walk without your hands? <laughs> <laughs> you won't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a bit of a joke one anyway, Ben. Yeah. Right, I've got one then. Dutch. So... Favourite blues player of all time. I always found uh, Mike Taylor and Ian Bennett inoffensive, for instance. Mm. I don't know, really. There's not been many blues players I've quite liked. Uh, Trevor Francis was a good player, Ben. I, he was a good sure. player. I know, I know he's a good do, player. Do you, know, do you know, he was a good player. Really good. Mm. Um, I think he was a first million pound footballer, I think. Mm. We went to... Uh, not Forest, yeah. but I also remember Andy Gray. <laughs> Andy Gray and, and, and uh, 
Yeah. Trevor Francis for up for Player of the Year. Mm. And Andy Gray ends up winning Young Player of the Year and Player of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> for them both. I can't remember what year it was, but I remember it happening. Remember uh, that, you know, I just, just yeah. imagine him walking, walking, <laughs> walking into the, the, yeah. the, you know, the town the next day with two trophies and going, "All right, Trev." All right, Trev. I'd, um, I'd probably go for um, Emil Heskey. Emil Heskey. Yeah. I was going to go for for uh, Trevor Rocky originally. Yeah. Trevor Rocky. Most of anyone who's played for Villa is probably safe that. <laughs> Okay, is it your question now? Yes, it is. This one's from Tim Her 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 Lily. Yep. He says, If we have to stay up, Ben, how many changes to the team do you think we need to finish the table? And does your dad sing in the house all the time? <laughs> <laughs> so the first uh, question, we don't need to make any to finish the table. No, I, I, I truly believe that this squad is capable of pushing, need to gel together, pushing into Europe. Uh, people are like, oh, yeah, Johnson, like overconfident as a Villa fan, but I know, seeing seeing like the burst of brilliance of that squad, I know if that's if the squad just has the determination, has the passion for the club just to carry on, there's no reason why we can't push further than the than the table, but because it's not it's not gel properly, they're not really got to know each other. You know, we've made 13 signings, we lost 15 in the summer. Obviously, it's going to be a long transition. A hard transition as well. There's not much we can really do. So, like doing what we did was very, was very good. And you don't sing in the house at all, as far as I know. Doing the shower. <laughs> sing in the shower, Ben. You think everyone does really? You're normally asleep then. <laughs> right. You do. Okay. So, Steve Deakin. Mm. If the North Stand was to be renamed, who would you be named after, mm. and who would be a shocking one? Ron Saunders is. That's a great idea, and imagine a Jolie and Lescott stand. <laughs> <laughs> so, who should it be renamed after? I, I wouldn't want it as a the Ron Saunders North stand, because or the Ron Saunders stand, because like as great as he was, was it as a manager? Just I don't think it'd really suit it as a Ron. Do you think it'd need to be Saunders. a brand new stand and then call it the Ron yeah, Saunders? It would, like the Dug like the Doug Ellis. Yeah, it's because it's a bit of mm. it's dated, isn't it? Now yeah. it's dated. If it's to be renamed, mm. I, I don't really see the point of renaming it at the moment. Yeah, but I, th I if think if it becomes in a new stand in the future, then we should rename yeah. it. I think. But I think the most likely rename it w it would be is probably the King William stand when he becomes king. Well, that's not a bad call there, Ben. It, it would honour him, and that would be it, it probably he'd probably love it a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Who would be the, who, 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 what would be the worst name to put on worst, it then, Ben? Worst name? I think Jerry Lescott is it. I think he's yeah. hit the nail on the head there. I think. Yeah. It, well, honestly, that man is so disrespectful to the club. He came here. He came here. Said he was a said he was a Villa fan. Said he supported us all his life. You know, he wanted to fight the best. No effort. Tweeted a photo of his car after. Said, "Oh, I accidentally tweeted it from a pocket." It was an accident, Ben. He yeah, said it's an accident. <laughs> Accidents happen. <laughs> yeah, and then as well, like now he's saying, "Oh, I'm not a Villa fan anymore. I hate him." Because he's like, "Oh yeah, they disrespected me, so I hate him." But it's just like it's not like he he didn't ha he didn't disrespect us with what he did to the club, is it? Mm. Difficult time. It was a yeah, difficult it was. time, but, but difficult he, he time. definitely disrespected the fans. So is, is this the l last question now, Ben? Is it penultimate, oh, penultimate question? Right. Yes. So this is from Double H. Mm. So we all know that when it comes to bingo, Kelly's eye is number one, and two little ducks is twenty-two. But can you think of a new bingo call for a current Villa player and their squad number? E.g., he ain't no shorty. Toro Mings 40. Toro Mings 40. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Don't be screamish. It's number 10, Jack Grealish. <laughs> That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. You love it. Uh, I'll, 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 let me think of one then. Um, you may have a win, number 7. I'll go with that one. You may have a win, number <laughs> 7, seven, John, John McGinn. <laughs> we'll go with that one then. All right, and this last one's from Trinity Villain. Spot wrong. Uh, it says... Uh, Make a Villa career mode in FIFA, but say, will you make one? Just turn it into that. And uh, the answer is no. I don't, even, I don't even understand the question. 
Yeah, the, the answer's no, because I've got to hook me, I'll get up to my console, which is, isn't that hard. But just the fact that, you know, everyone just comes into my room a lot without really making me aware. So if I'm recording it, recording a voiceover, so I'm just like... <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, then, and then says something to me or hands me my food or something yeah. while I'm in the middle of recording. Yeah. Very annoying, so I, I, I won't do it unless you're at like, an office or something where I'm not actually getting disturbed. But okay. I doubt that'll happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I doubt it too, oh, yeah. in fairness. Alright, so uh, that's it for the video. Okay, do, so do, do you want to announce the winner for so your favourite question, question? was uh, PG1964. Oh. So Jimmy's turning in his grave. He's got it. Well, I don't know. You know, it was a fair question. It's a fair question. So that was my favourite. Sorry, yeah. Jimmy. Sorry. So uh, PG nineteen sixty four. Paul, if you give me a yeah. drop in your address, mate, I'll get yeah. it sent after you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And please share and, uh, it. Yeah. Please share it. Comment down below media. as well if you want another Q and A because. We got we got a lot of time and we do enjoy recording these. Yeah. So yeah, if, if you if you want to, I always ask some I always questions. like spending time with Pierre. Yeah. In fairness, uh, if if you want to ask some questions, feel free. So, yeah. That's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Up the villa.